Welcome to our weekly energy forecast and meditation. I'm Juna Sabina. We're from Synergy in Motion, where we inspire and empower you to live true to you and your magic, your uniqueness, your gifts in the world. And today we're really excited. We have a whole new forecast for you. And um, our forecasts are based in human design, the I Ching, and gene keys. And we synthesize, we study all, all of them, and we always bring you a weekly morsel of what's up in the air for this particular coming week. Okay, so it's based on the zodiac. It's based on a lot of really good, solid, foundational stuff, and we bring a morsel of that to you. And uh, this week, today and tomorrow, we're still in um, the hexagram 61, and it's all about inner truth and mystery. And we alluded to that the last time, as that was the last week's um, energy, this week's energy. And yeah, it's, it's pretty juicy, and it's really tuning into uh, musing on what's unknowable, musing on the mysteries. So if you find that you've been doing that this past week, you're right on track. <laughs> so, uh, or you might notice that in others around you, they're, you know, the level of conversation might be at a higher vibrational level than normal. So that's uh, inner truth and mystery, hexagram 61. And then on Tuesday, I think it's the uh, January 17 to 21, we're in um, 60, the 60th hexagram. And so we're moving back into this root pressure again. And it is called, it's all about limitation. <laughs> and and it's really cool. I love the, the tagline in there. And it's about acceptance of limitation is the first step to transcendence. So when we can accept the limitations um, in life, the limitation of having a body, the limitation of time, the limitation of, you know, there's a lot of limitations. And we don't really like to, believe that we have them, but, but we do. And how can you use any kind of limitation that you experience to your advantage and to find the grace and the possibility in there? So that's really the theme for the upcoming week is this limitation and the acceptance of it. And, you know, it's called acceptance because what we tend to do when we're limited is push back and resist it and Say, well, I don't have to be limited. I'm limitless. I'm free and I'm this. Yes, you are. And mm -hmm. there's this other component. And what does limitation create for you? How can you use it and play with it to enter into new possibilities? Mm -hmm. And really see it as a dance partner. Let it get the best out of you. Mm -hmm. I, I just keep thinking about the time when I used to live in Scotland in a um, community called the Fintorn Foundation, and I was 22, and at the time I didn't have much money. My parents funded me to stay there instead of going to university. I made the choice to study there, and I really didn't have any extra money. So that was an enormous limitation for me. I don't I didn't like that very much. But what it did for me is to really start to study. I became a massage therapist, a body worker, and I started working with people and made some really good money there. So it really inspired me. It was like that sand of grain, grain of sand <laughs> that way around that created a pearl of me starting to work with people because of that limitation of not having money and of course the love for people but it just worked together and I yeah thinking about a river right when the river flows it doesn't like always go uh, like river bank yeah river bank you're bad mm -hmm. no it uses the river bank and it, it does challenge it it is that creative tension between mm -hmm. you and the limitation but it brings the best flow out if you let it because mm. if you forget to flow and constantly only question and resist the limitation you're not going to get anywhere but when you use it to flow like a river whew, that's when the magical life starts unfolding mm -hmm. and it's really the wisdom i find is 
when you accept the limitation, it's the first step to transcendence. And so what happens in it is you can be free of this whole um, dynamic of limited or limitless, you know, that whole, mm-hmm. that whole, it, it just kind of dissolves and goes poof. It doesn't, it doesn't even exist anymore because you're, you're dancing in a vibration that's higher. It's above, it's beyond any kind of, um, you know, any kind of limitation or possibility. It's, it just almost doesn't exist anymore. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're talking, you know, theoretical, but you can, you can perceive the gift of that. That's this, you know, what is transcending, what would be transcending a limitation. Mm-hmm. And when I think about it, w- when I was introduced to human design and I found out I'm a generator and that it wasn't mine to initiate things, that was a huge aha because I made myself so wrong for not being able to initiate, to feel that limitation. I, I, I can nurture a project and I can run with it when the energy is there. Mm-hmm. But to pull it out of thin air, so like some people, manifestors, are able to do, mm-hmm. is not possible for me. So me recognizing this, oh, there's actually a gift in being able to respond and to generate energy instead of having to initiate out of thin air. I mean, mind you, they do need to be present with the flow as well, but in a different way. And I always made myself incredibly wrong for that. So, I mean, when you look at human design, you could see it as a limitation, but you can also see it as your treasure map, right? That, that possibility to really dive in, exploring what is more likely your gifts, your limitations, your challenges, and um, thrive with that instead of constantly struggling with a limitation. Mm-hmm. So that's this coming week's theme. Um, play with it. Just notice places in your life where you feel limited and stuck and then really ask yourself, okay, so if I had 10 or 20, um, do I have 10 or 20 options right now that I haven't even thought about? And there's always more resources, there's more people, there's, there's things that can help you move through it. And we get really stuck. And the, the, the mind is what gets stuck on something. They say, I'm limited, I only have this money, so I can't, I can't. So no, you can. What can you do with $50? you don't have a hundred, what can you do with $50? What can you do with $5? What can you do with this much time? And, you know, if that's your particular limit, then how, what are all the possibilities within that limitation? And I like that, like that, that river, that river bank. Yeah. You you kind of grind against that limitation to find your, find the gifts, to find Find the the flow. Yeah. Let it get you into your flow. But yeah. Yeah. Your flow is this way, not against yeah. the limitations. Yeah. Anyways, I yeah. guess we have a lot to say on that. But uh, <laughs> yeah, let us know how it goes. We do love hearing from you. So mm-hmm. you can email us or you can respond in the comments. And be sure to like and subscribe and listen to the meditation that we're going to do right now. Mm-hmm. And uh, flow with that. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Good. So let's take that into the realm of stillness and meditation. Just take a deep breath. Allow your body to relax. And allow your breath to flow in and out a little deeper, a little longer. Letting your body relax with your breath. Allowing yourself to be held by the earth. And while your body relaxes, come home to yourself. 
that sacred space within you where you are most of you. And in that space, without analyzing or thinking too much, get a sense of who you are, what makes you you. And don't think about it, just get that feel for it, that sense in whatever way works for you. All the joys you bring to the world, all the gifts, all the challenges. All your curiosities. Get that sense of what you are embodying this lifetime. Whether that is joyful, challenges, ecstatic, low, high, doesn't matter. Just get a sense for that life's journey that you're on, your flow. Perceive that flow almost like a movement moving you, inspiring you. Just feel how that feels, being you. The good, the bad, the ugly and the beautiful, all of it. What an expression of life, amazing. And in that space of being aware of you, open your heart, your capacity to love and care. Let that flow into your river of life. And perceive those areas that you just love, where it's flowing, where you're good, where it's where you're in the groove. And that might be small things like when you're going for a walk, when you are with your pets or with your loved ones, and it just makes you happy and it flows. Just feel that flow and love that flow.
expand your awareness and become aware of that which limits you, which challenges you, where there you don't necessarily experience the flow. Your riverbanks. And just be present with them in the same loving energy. What if you allowed your challenges and your limitations to bring the best forth in you? What if they tickled forth your unique creative genius? Let them wake you up into yourself and into the magic of life. Again, become aware of all of it, your limitations, your gifts, your groove, your challenges. And the beautiful expression of you. And allow that energy to flow freely into the world. Again, the good, the bad, the ugly, and the beautiful. All of it. You, the artist, the magician. moment truly give yourself permission to be you and to be you in the world celebrate that love it
and become aware of how your willingness to be with your limitations, to be your limitlessness, your genius, your magic, and your challenges all at the same time. Become aware of this as an invitation to others who might not have the same courage, who might not have the confidence to be themselves. But just know that you being you in that way inspires the world to be more of its beauty, of its uniqueness, of its diversity. We take this moment to be this invitation to free the limitation of limitation into possibilities. And then come back to yourself with your awareness, this present moment. And from this present moment, become aware of your week ahead. And invite yourself to embrace your limitations, your challenges, and open up to be surprised what gifts these limitations and challenges can bring to you, what magic they can tickle forth in you. Take another deep, deep breath into this present moment, into the fullness of you, into the magic of you, and know that we are very, very grateful for you daring to swim consciously in the river of life, exploring, willing to explore limitations without going, oh, belly up. You can't do it. No, but to meet this, this is, takes incredible courage. And truly, thank you for that. That's amazing because that changes the world and creates a very, very different world than, ooh, I'm scared and stuff. No, yeah, hello. I see your limitation and I embrace it. I love it. And I let it guide me into even more of me. So... 
Let's do this together, <laughs> particularly in the next week. All right. Thank you. Thank you for joining us and thank you for that meditation. <clears throat> and I just realized as well that the next time we meet is on the Rave New Year. Ooh. It'll be January 22 is our next um, installment of this. And uh, the Rave New Year is a whole new beginning. It's the new beginning of a yearly cycle where we are wrapping up this week. We're wrapping up this quarter of mutation. Well, in the, I guess it's in a couple more weeks as well. And uh, just coming into this initiation, this new beginnings, um, the energy of fantasy and desire. So again, you'll be um, tapping into that as well as we expect great things in the Rave New Year. <laughs> so until next time, have a wonderful week and we'll see you then. Yes. <laughs> Bye. Bye.